Hello folks, we're back again for another early access stream. Um, let me just turn that music off again. There we go, audio. No, not that one. There we go, should be able to hear me now. Hmm, Rogers Pass. Uh, did I do? Oh, was that the that was the Canadian one, wasn't it? That I did. That was the Cana That was the Canadian um, mountain passes, wasn't it? So, right. So we're back again for another little preview of Train Sim World Four and the three routes that come with it. Now, here's the thing. If you owned this one here, Dresden, if you can see it here, if you owned Dresden in TSW3, you will get it. You will get the updated version for free. It is included in the deluxe edition and the, the edition that's higher up, I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, we're going to have a look tonight at the Antelope Valley and the Vorarlberg, which is a new country because it's Austrian. So um, let's go straight into Antelope Valley line. Uh, let's have a look at the scenarios first. Oh, that sounds fun. That one sounds fun. 40, 40 minutes? Hmm. Let's have a look at the timetable. I think I gave a small preview of this last night, didn't I? So, uh, we're looking for... Some shortish runs. I mean, two and a, two hours eleven minutes. There's a lot of non-revenue ones or empty coaching moves, which is good. One hour and nine minutes. Yeah, but uh, well. Should, should we do that scenario then? Ah, nice. Coming up my way. I'm sure. Are you going to go to the railway museum, Dan? I don't really want to spoil these. Um. Scenarios, to be honest. But I want a good, a good one. Are these the? Hang on, which? Yeah, I chose the bike. I chose the bi level cab car. Have I got any shortish ones that I can do? Oh, very nice. I hope you do go to the uh, Railway Museum, Dan. Right, okay. Well, it's going to have to be that then. Um, we'll have some custom weather on, and we'll have it in August. Let's have some clouds. And let's go. I tried. I I, I had a little bit of a drive with the, the cab car last night. So we're going to drive from New Hall to LA Union. Right. So, oops. the 
the door should be unlocked. Let's put some headlights on. Let's have some instrument lights on. That needs to go to cut in. Drop the brake. Ooh, nice. And the safety systems, I believe. That's in. That's on. There, uh, put the number lights on. And the safety systems is on here, TMS. There we go. Oh, I've done it again. I forgot to turn the field generator on. Where is it? Engine room. Where's the field generator? So the cab set set up. There we go. I did the. Uh, hey, oh, oh. Naughty me. Naughty me. Right, we should be able to go get going now. So we can do seventy miles an hour. Now I've got to watch that little dial here because that's my speed actually we've got a 45 mile an hour speed limit coming up so don't want to be going too fast and this thing has dynamic brakes on it as well which is a good thing Give it some more beans. We'll have a look outside in a moment. Actually, we'll have a look outside now. So this is the bi-level cab car. Operated by Metrolink. It's very nice. And... This train rattles like a lot of other trains so how many miles have we got 6.6 .6 miles to Silmar and San Fernando lost a bit of speed there Cable's not long enough for the controller. So I don't normally like driving American stuff, but this is good. This is very good. We've got a 30 mile an hour speed limit coming up. I was not looking at that.
going under a tunnel now. It's not... Uh, this room is not bad. I mean, end to end though, just uh, over two hours long. Then it... might require a um a few game saves if you if you like me and you you don't want to play a lot oh this is a long tunnel And we're on a downhill grade as well, so. Ha <laughs> Johnny Cash, yeah. To be honest, this thing's fairly easy to drive. Have lights on. Some brake ons because we're still going downhill. I can't actually remember where this line runs. I know it runs into LA Union. But I can't remember where the actual top end of the line is. I was the alerter going off, making sure I'm still awake. Uh, I've had a lot of practice bringing American trains downhill on, on grades. Uh, playing Sherman Hill and Cajon Pass. Although the trains on those routes are a lot, a lot heavier and a lot, lot longer. Take some break off now. We'll be able to get some speed soon. So, like I say, so far to me, I'm just playing trains in world. And it's an enjoyable thing to play. It relaxes me. No, I don't want to put that much brake on. You really got to watch what uh, you're braking on this. I mean, 2.3% downhill grade. That is a significant grade. Oh, it's gone to 2.4% now. That is a significant gradient. Let's some more break off. Go under the freeway. Let a little bit more break off. And we've got a yellow coming up. More break.
Take the brake off now. Oh, I honestly couldn't tell you, Dan. Did a little bit of speeding there. I honestly could not tell you what the large uh, the the gradient um the the biggest gradient I've done this in this in one of the train sim games. I mean, two point six percent has got to be up there with it. Imagine taking a freight train down that. Got the highway next to us there. I mean, this will go through some picturesque scenery. It won't be called the Antelope Valley for nothing. Take some breaks off now. Excuse me. truck wasn't going to stop then. Right, so now we're going to be using the brakes. I really thought that truck that was turning right there at, at that crossing was not going to stop. Are we going to make it here in time? Mm, might be a few seconds late. Okay, more than a few seconds late, but I did leave. I did leave late. So now, what annoys me is I 
is look where it has me stopping. Halfway down the platform. So the rear of my train is going to be off the platform. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, see? Look, I've got passengers getting off onto the tracks where they should not be doing that. It, the stop marker should really come here. Be down here. Right, and away we go again. Next up, Sun Valley. In six and a half miles. All right, let's give it some beans. That is a nice horn. That is a nice horn. We'll soon be able to go up to the top speed of 79 miles an hour. Grade crossings. Got the dynamics working now. Did quite well with that. Didn't speed. A lot of wind noise. I'm keeping my eye on the speedometer. There goes the alerter again. At least the alerter's audible in this thing. Unlike the Azuma, which we you heard last night, and the Flying Scotsman. Whee! Thought the speed limit was only 75, it's not, it's 79. Ah, hey, game me, dude. need any brakes here
2.1 miles to Sun Valley. No, you haven't missed much. I think I should start braking. And again, I bet this makes me stop short. Well, maybe not. Maybe this... Oh, no, look, this time it's actually having me stop where I should be stopping. Right at the bottom of the platform. <whistles> nice parking. So this is what? I'm driving. Oh, look at that. Yes, right on the marker. You cannot get better than that. Oh, actually, I could have been a few, maybe a couple of feet. So that's what we're driving. And that's what we have on the back. Next up, Burbank. Oh, that is that one of the little dioramas there? Look. Hot dog cart. Nice. I was 15 seconds late arriving, but I left on time. Hey, oh, there's another hot dog seller there. Or some street food seller, I don't know. Might be an ice cream man. Could be a roast chicken seller. Get some braking in. Oh, there is another feature of TSW4, which many of us would have been asking for. 
and that is if you miss a station stop which many of us have done if you now miss a station stop you can now continue on your journey whereas before you couldn't so if you miss a station on this now it just automatically tells you to go to the next one might have to put that to the test actually And this is another one that's telling me to stop halfway down the platform. In reality, I'd be stopping down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, I was a few yards, sir. Uh... A few yards over there. Let's have a look around here. What we got? See, look. All that room on the platform. Oh, oh. Well, actually, that's a bonus because the whole train fits on the platform this time. And this is supposed to be an airport? Where's the planes? Where's the airport? Unless this is it. Uh, I can't see no airport. Nope. I can't see an airport. Wait. What's this? <laughs> Every day is Taco Tuesday. Chipotleus. Now, uh, next up, Burbank, downtown. And we have a yellow signal ahead. There's our northbound. There's the alerter. I like there how I was over the speed limit and it still gave me points for being under the speed limit. I was at 80 miles an hour. brakes on I don't think I'm going to be able to stop for the 40 miles an hour I think I'm going to be going over these cro uh, switches too fast yeah I am I 
I wasn't paying attention again. My bad. Am I going to be stopping halfway down the platform again? Oh! So this is downtown Verlank. Love the mountains in the distance. Where are we stopping next? Glendale! So we've got Glendale and then LA Union Station. Why would I be doing a Cornish accent? Some dynamic breaking in. I don't think I'm doing too badly with this actually, driving this thing. I don't know what the correct procedure is for horns and crossings. Just let it roll. Actually, give it some power then.
1.7 miles, 1.6 miles to Glendale. The noise and the rattling in this thing reminds me of a um, British unit called a Pacer. A class 142. Although the, one, the 142s are noisier than the uh, 143s. There goes the barber pole counting down again. We have a red light up ahead at, at the at Glendale. Oh, just after Glendale. Oops. Okay, we're a couple of um, couple of yards over the stop marker, but we're still here. I mean, the distance scenery is, is a, a bit better on TSW4. I mean, as you can see now, you can actually see parts of the city at the back. Not wrong with Yorkshire tea. Not wrong with Yorkshire tea, Dan. It's lovely. But we use Yorkshire tea on the uh, on the railway. In the buffets. Well, in our buffet we do. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that that light would clear to green. <laughs> yeah, the Patrick Stewart ones are really funny. And afterwards, we're going for a pint at the Dog and Trumpet. Good old Sir Patrick Stew. Who's from Yorkshire? Born in Murfield in 1940. Our next station stop is LA Union Station.
can't remember the Sean Bean Yorkshire Tea adverts. Oh yeah, Jeff Boycott. Now here's the confusing thing. As you can see, I've got two speed limits. I've got a 40 and a 50. Which one applies to me? I think it's the 50. I think the 40 will be for freight. Oh no, it was 40. That's a bit confusing when you have two speed limits listed. Because normally the highest the higher speed limit is for passenger services and the lower speed limit is for freight got the depot here Metrolink depot where all the trains will be maintained. Oh, hi, Edward. You doing all right? I have to put some brake. Oh, I think I have to put some brake on in a minute. Just having a, a look at Trains in World 4, which releases on Tuesday. Uh, you missed out last night where I played some on the East Coast Main Line, Edward. With the Class 801 Azumas and Flying Scotsman. But you should be able to go back and watch that. I did not drive Scotsman very well. I could not get it above about 55 miles an hour. Oh, mate. That sucks. I hope, it, I hope, it, I hope it's quick. Oh, hello. That looked rather close. Yeah, that's a YouTube problem. Uh, it, it happens to me as well with um, other things. Like, I'm, I, 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 
suppose I want to get notified when Mal puts his train videos up or when you put train videos up and I just don't see them. So we've got a 12 mile an hour speed limit coming up now. So we'll start slowly dropping the uh, the speed. Look at that, 79 miles an hour, one mile an hour. <laughs> Some of these speed things do not make sense. Oh mate, that is ho that's 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 horrible. Well, I hope and I hope he doesn't have it again. It's re it seems really nasty. I have luckily I haven't had it myself yet. Oh, on the, um, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. But we had, if you look in this top corner here, this is the new, this is a new display. And it's giving these split speeds. I had one earlier that said 50 and 40. Now you would think that the fi I, I would have been able to have done 50 miles an hour because I'm in passenger service. No, it was 40. Oh, fishing. Nice. I know I'm on yellows. And I've got a 12 mile an hour speed limit coming up. Now the American speed limits are weird because the maximum speed for, for my passenger train is 79 miles an hour. Uh, no, the red will be right down the end of the platform at Los Angeles Union. I, d I do sometimes miss, miss the speed limits. So this is the new minim what they call the minimal hood. And in that top right hand corner under the score, it kind of takes inspiration f from Train Simulator Classic. Oh, hello, I heard a cop car there. Um, but it includes the signal aspect, which is great. But the thing is, is when you have the hood on like this, you can't go outside. Because you don't know what speed you're doing, because you have no speedometer. So we're just, there goes the alerter. Just give, give it a little bit of, um, a 
Oh nice, where are you planning on going fishing then? Actually Edward, if you do it, yeah, you will go, um, you will go through my town, in fact you'll probably, you'll actually pass right outside my house. Okay, maybe I slowed down a little bit too early. Oh, yeah. Aaron, yeah, I know the Aaron Calder. Well, we're going to be a minute late in because I, I slowed down too quick. No, I don't. Uh, I don't blame you, Edward. I don't like driving. Uh, on motorways really but I do it a lot um yeah I'm doing I'm doing good I'm doing good um obviously coming towards the end of my um coming towards the end of the year now at um WR um but I'm now a trainee uh crossing guard uh crossing keeper so i need to book some tra uh, training sessions in to enable me to work crossings and then get assessed for that and then um i'll also be help painting a carriage um Uh, yes, it is October that I finished. And I still got platinum for that. Uh, yeah, I lost 17 points for speeding. Which is what you get. You get a similar thing in Train Simulator. You know, you lose points for speeding in that. In Train Simulator Classic. So, um, didn't do too badly. Right. I'm just going to open this drink and then we're going to go and have a look at the S-Bahn Vorarlberg with the OBB talent. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, well, to be fair, yeah, so, so. You can see here this little red marker. And that's where I got my speeding penalty. So that's new. This new scoring system is is great. Uh, yeah, a lot of us don't understand that, Edward. But hey, here we are. We have a new version coming out. Um, and... As you can see, I have now got a platinum medal for that. And that's a new thing to TSW4, the new scoring methods. Right, so. Do you want to see a bit? Do you want to have a bit of fun? Do you want to have a bit of fun? Watch this. So, we're going to go... Excuse me, are you going to let me down the stairs? Whoops. How do you get out of this thing? Where's the door? Oh, I have to go down another level, don't I? Yeah. Let's 
Excuse me, driver coming through. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to an empty platform. Alright. Watch this. Hmm. <laughs> Ready for this? I want to rotate. How do I rotate it? Um, I need it to go the other way. <laughs> Look at that! So here we have a UK class 66. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to go put the tail lights on. Where's the tail lights? No, I want I want tail lights. Oh yeah, there they are. Right. Tail lights are now on. And then what we do is blah 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 blah. I want to shut the door. Are you gonna let me shut the door? No. I might have to climb up the ladder and then try and shut the door. There we go. <laughs> yes, Edward. New feature for Trains in World 4 is you can spawn trains in. In timetable mode or in free mode. Uh, free roam, because there's a free roam mode. So then what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to sit down. Right, and we're gonna tap. Do we do we do it through the map? Or... Right. Okay, so that's a that is a weird bug. That is a weird bug. Look, I can't I can't go into the map. Oh, what did that just do? Ah, yeah. Right. Yeah, put the headlights on. And then we're going to go... Right. There should be a way for me to change the path. But, look, the map's not working. For some reason, the map just flashes up, so you can't change it. I need to see the map so I can set a path. But, that's not working. So, that is a bug that will need to be reported to um, Dovetail. Which I will do after the stream. Because what I should now be able to do... Is I should be able to drive the 60... Uh, and the ta You know I put the tail... Look. There's another bug. You watched me put the tail lights on... In that vehicle. And yet, the tail lights are on in the, on this side rather than the rear. Oh look, they're now on. 
That's better. What? This. I should be able to get. I should be able to click on the map. And make a path for me to drive this train. Or drive the loco. And it's not working. So this is Los Angeles. Yeah, so... Like I said, I should have been able to access the map there. And set... Yeah, you can see it's doing it there as well, look. Right. That is extremely weird. So I can't do anything because I can't set my path now. So anyway, that's just showing something that you can do. And of course we have photo mode. Oh look, it's put the tail lights back on. So that's another bug. I've got tail lights on both ends now. So yeah, this is a new feature as well, the photo mode. We had a bit of a play around with this yesterday. We'll just uh, we'll just take a screenshot. So anyway, oi! I thought we were playing Motorfest. To I thought we were going to play Motorfest together. You'll be completing it before before I do it. Right. So I said we would do Vorarlberg. Let's just have a look at these scenarios. We're not going to do some we're not gonna do the scenarios, but so this goes into Switzerland. Oh, hello. Um, no, I wanted the scenarios. What? Go back into it again. Go into the scenarios. Hey, I, I only did one of them. <laughs> right. You can see one of the titles there. You know what? The theme tune I'm thinking of there, don't you? I'll give you a hint. It involves a silver, a silver coloured rocket, and a big green transporter thing. So there's quite a, yeah, quite a few good scenarios on there. But anyway, let's go into a little bit of a timetable. So we're just going to have a look. We're just going to do a... Uh, a quick... Uh, yeah, Tracy, I... Yes... That's part of it, yes. Tracy Island, what uh, is in uh, the, the the TV show I was thinking of is, of course, Thunderbirds, because their uh, you know their organisation is called International Rescue. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to have a we're just going to have a bit of a a look here, 
at the OBB um, four, three, whatever it is. So we're going to have a quick look at that. And then we'll have a look at the Vectr the new Vectron as well. No, I want the master switch to active. The brake handle needs putting into drive. Put some headlights on, we'll put the instrument lights on. have a look at that so this is the OVV talent four oh two four or something I don't know what what it is but look at that scenery there that is just fantastic so I think we'll um Have a good, uh, have a good one, Edward, and I hope you feel better soon. That is beautiful. Shame about the glare. Shame about the glare, which we're trying to get, we're trying to get shut of. Oh, that's where we can just change the. Exposure. Because I want the mountains. So much better. Change the ex let's keep change let's change that that's too saturated whoa we don't want to be doing that that'll do yeah very nice scenery there isn't it Dan? That's going to be too uh, too exposed, so we don't want it. Hey, yeah, I can have it in black and white. See, a lot of games have a photo mode now, so it doesn't really surprise me that they put one in.
clown horn. So I'll just do a little bit on here and then we're going to try the Vectron. This thing's quite nippy. Right, I'm not stopping, so here's the chance to skip the station, here's the chance to check that thing for skipping the station. <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh Where's me passengers? Have we got the same issue that we had with TSW3? The passengers are all the way down the other end of the platform. I nearly missed the... Uh, if I'd not bumped the train into emergency, we wouldn't have stopped. But anyway. close some doors door should be closed So should we skip the next station and see what happens? don't think I'm going to be able to skip the next station because there's a red light after this one. Yeah, let's just go straight through and see what happens. Testing the feature out. Yep, see? Oh, that is beautiful. 
Oh, I hear birds then as well. Nice. Found a shortcut. <laughs> Look at that, that is beautiful. Uh, let's just drop the brightness a little bit. I don't want it too exposed. That'll do. So yeah, so you can skip your objectives, look. Shock a load of breaking. I mean, that's not how you would really drive this thing, but. So, oh yeah, and another another, fi another thing um, that is new to Train Sim World 4 is if you've got, if say you have an emergency brake application and you don't know how to recover, if you look in this bottom corner, if you look here, look, you'll see that. Or do, you, uh, or do you want to reset the? F or do you want to reset it? So that's a good thing. So we'll have a a, um, a look at the Vectron now. Bearing in mind, I do not officially know how to drive this thing. We'll do that.
Uh, where does is there a key to put in this thing? Fantagraph is up. Is there a key to put in this thing? It's got to be a key. Oh yeah, there it is. Last key is on. Where do you put the rib? Where's the reverser? As you can tell, I've not driven this yet. Whoops. Where do you do the train brake? I don't know. Set the train brake to cut... Set the train brake button cut the cutout. That's it. Sounds a bit like the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> Two horns. I might have to drive this quite a bit. Engage warp drive! And of course this has AFB on it, which means you can make it drive itself. Talent two going the other way. Uh, a, a talent going the other way, not a talent two. I think I might like driving this. We have a green coming up.
But they may have a red. Really does sound like the Starship Enterprise. I stopped a little bit short. Okay, that sounded like a transporter. <laughs> when that train went past, it sounded like somebody was beaming out. Yeah, the map's still doing that. So, anyway, we've had a bit of a look um, at um, Vorarlberg and also Antelope Valley. With the traction that comes in. And we've also seen that... Um, in timetable mode and in free roam, you can put your own trains in. Now, in free roam, there are no other trains. It's just what you want to do with it. But in timetable mode, there are other trains. So, yeah. So the map issue, I'm going to report. And... Hopefully that'll get sorted. Because right now, I can put the train in, but I can't have a, a... There's no path for me. I can't set the paths because I need the map to do it. At least I think I need the map to do it. What will... Um, whoops. Let's just go and... Mm. Let's just go and have a look. So we'll do this again. 
we'll do that. And we'll start at LA Union. And we'll put the train in and then we'll see what happens. See if I'm able to set the path in. Now, obviously, no. I've got to sport. I've got to wait until that goes green to make it fit. No, there we go. So we can put it on there. You can also delete the train as well. Yeah, that is a problem. It's not going to let us do it. Uh, I will report that to Dovetail. In fact, we'll just make sure... We'll just see if I'm running the right version oops didn't want to do that right so it says I have the latest version installed Hmm. Well, anyway, um, I don't know if I'll be back doing another TSW stream. Well, I will at some point. Hopefully, once all the bugs have been fixed. Because I want to chuck a, I want to play with the class 37, belting it down the East Coast Main Line. On a maintenance train or something, you know. Something like that. Uh, but until that's fixed, I can't do it. And obviously I can't do anything at the moment until um, the game fully releases. Because I don't have all my add-ons. So at the moment I can't drive class 37. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my little play around with uh, Train Sim World 4 for the PlayStation 5. Train Sim World 4 is available on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox One S, uh, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, uh, Steam and Epic. So PC. And the official release date is Tuesday. Uh, if you're on console, it'll be a 4pm release. Uh, British summertime. And it will be um, 6pm British summertime for Steam and Epic uh, users. So, anyway... Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon, because I may be doing another PlayStation stream of the Crew Motorfest with uh, good old Gamer Dude. So, thank you for watching anyway. I hope you all have a nice evening. 